Okay, do it again. Physical activity is going to take it out of me. I'm yeah. talking, I walked out the door maybe less than 50, 75 feet round trip. And I'm barely tugging this thing up where, what, a couple hours ago? when I was laying on my ass, get one from what the nurse just said, um, I could get it almost up, all the way above with no effort. Yeah, but you had been sitting in a bed for how long? I've been in a bed since 6.30 this morning, so you're talking 12 hours. I think yeah, it's bed. almost 7 now. Uh, yeah, so 12 hours I've been on my ass. but. At about 6.40, I did walk to the urinal, even though the urinal is the same damn urinal I've been using. Um, but so they got to monitor your fluids. But I did go in, I set it on the counter, and I did piss in a cup, seeing like I just bent it that way again. Mm -hmm. um, only problem I see throughout the night, I wish it maybe just put me in a wrist restraint, is this, my IV for my morphine and my other crap. Mm -hmm including they gave me there was some meds she said what, what the hell was it, it was a Motrin equivalent that would or something like that it was yeah. a Motrin ibuprofen so yes you can be on ibuprofen and Vicodin within 24 hours of your post surgery I had mine up in the C3, C4, C4, C5 and it took twice as long as what was predicted because of how bad it was and uh, I'm not a tough guy I don't claim to be and my wife's my witness but uh, I'm not showing the pain like I did with my gallbladder. But that could also be masked due to the morphine. So don't quote me on this because once that morphine disappears, I might be hurting tomorrow, you know, when they pull me from it because they have to wean me off of it. 
Um, but I have to do this a couple more times, so if you want to watch, go for it. If not, I don't give flying Sasquatch. Okay, um, here it is, uh, 4.52 p.m., uh, 10, 12, 2010. Um, only meds I've been given is uh, a 50 count uh, with two refills of Vicodin, um, ibuprofen as needed for swelling, no oxycotton needed uh, for this, um, off morphine, I haven't had morphine since I want to say 7.30 this morning, um, I've got shifting is with the whole upper body, as you can hear, my talking still a little scratchy. Um, still doing the lame, lame ass little breathing thing. It's supposed to, from what my neurosurgeon says, it's an exhale for to help uh, fight with uh, uh, pneumonia, um, which unfortunately the idiots nurses at the hospital thought I had pneumonia um, and kept fighting me over whether or not I should have antibiotics for that, which I told them to piss off and get the IV out of me on that at that point. Um, as for other, I've got a couple of bruises. Uh, i got a bruise here from the first uh, a shot at my uh, IV. i got another one here. And then the really bad one, they screwed up where they didn't tighten it down here. Uh, looks more like a zit gone wrong. Um, other than that, um, my pain's probably, I want to say in the fives, um, just feels more like a locked up neck. I have tension here, um, and as for the bandage, uh, where the uh, actual incision is, it's right here. I already replaced it. Uh, this would be day two, because I had it yesterday morning, uh, 24 hours ago. But it was bunched up the way they did it, and because they said not to shave, I didn't shave the area, and I'm a guy, and unfortunately my hair is grew, and the tape they used, it adhered to the bandage, so I had to use one of my trimmers to help cut the hair back to get the other bandage off, um, because it was hurting and pinching. Um, right now... Um, probably the next time I take this off I'll show you what it looks like but uh, it is about about a two-inch scar this is a three-inch wide bandage um, my throat's numb from where the scar is down to here and up into here um, I can feel the titanium plate below it when I poke uh, the outline which is a little weird um, but as for like range of motion, I'm gonna go put myself in a line. Right now with a bandage, I can go about this far. I can go about that far. Neck, that's about it for back. And forward is about there. Um, like I said, this is better than I was yesterday. Walking, I'm still a little unstable. When I went to get my Vicodin uh, via the wife's uh, work because she works at a store a far, where I had a far, the pharmacy she's at. Um, I drove one of the little rascal go kart like old people drive around um, because I felt lightheaded walking. Um, I'm supposed to be wearing this for at least two weeks uh, with mine in the C3, C4, C4, C5. Um, but I'm only on a five pound restriction, no driving, um, walking's a couple of minutes, if that. I was supposed to wear leggings, but because I'm a stubborn idiot, I will probably attempt to get up every like half hour or so whenever I feel up to it and make a lap around the kitchen and back to the bedroom. Um, and uh, just kind of take it easy otherwise. Um, so all in all, that's uh, kind of where I sit. up on me. Mm -hmm. I have to understand I have an early mu detection system.
I know. I think it's just because of the pain level. Yeah, you keep dozing off over there. Mm, only when I sit in certain positions. Right. It's not mm. really pain, I think it's just my body's tired. And I'd rather be sleeping than wide awake and whining about it. That gets me nowhere. Right, but you gotta have your computer. Huh. Uh huh. Oh, it says now. How you feeling? I'm oh, sore. A little beat up. Stop. You're gonna find a tater tot or something thrown at you. Knock it off. There's no cuddling for you ever again. Okay, here it is. The 15th. It has been four days since the surgery. Um, at this point, things are going uh, not bad. Swallowing still a little tough. Um, eating certain foods still a little rough. Um, still got like a horse thing, hoarseness going on in my mouth. As for uh, my neck, I'm still stiff when it comes to uh, left and right movement, up and down. Tension is mainly on the side of my neck, uh, right through here and right through here, um, and then up the center of the back. Um, for in my case, I think it's because I got realigned more than. Uh, than you would think. So it's putting tension on my muscles. As you can see, this is my stitches, or stair stitches, those tape stitches that they put on. Um, right now the only problem I have in this area is a tenderness that comes from more of a probably because of the, lac the laceration or cut they made the incision site. Um, the nerves are very sensitive, so everything just feels kind of numb and tingly around this area. Um, I haven't had any leakage uh, from the, the wound. Um, last night, the only uh, Vicodin I took was about 10 o'clock at night to just kind of help loosen up the, uh, the pain that I was having in my, my neck through the, the left side and the right side. Um, but as for here, it's just tight. Um, I did sleep the whole night on my back in the bed. Um, I don't think I woke up at all, so sleeping is getting better. Um, as for doing things, um, I do get up and walk around a couple of times throughout the day. Um, of course, going to the bathroom because you're more on a liquid diet for the ease of the throat than you are on a solid. Um, foods like anything with breads and everything, starches are really tough. Uh, breads and that are really tough to swallow. They kind of get clogged in your throat and you feel like you're choking. Um, juices are fine. Soups are fine. Pastas are fine as long as there's lots of sauce. Um, really... Um, walking, I feel a little kind of like you'd feel after a roller coaster ride, um, a little motion sickness. Um, I think it's part of it's because I, I am in a seated position for long periods of time. Um, there's nothing where I'm laying on my back for a while, laying, you know, I, I there's not with me and this pain, it it's not where I have to sit in one position um, or keep moving to be comfortable. Um, sorry, the pain's a little because I took the brace off, but that was to show uh, the neck. Um, 
Um, I don't know if I had mentioned before, um, or the wife had mentioned in the background, that it took longer for me to come out of true recovery because of... Um, now I've been diagnosed where I have uh, uh, sleep apnea. Um, and I think that's partially due to the neck, partially family history, and I think that uh, now that will be addressed and hopefully I can get that under control um, so I can get some restful sleep. Um, I'm sleeping really on the, on the flat side of like little pillows. Um, if I do roll on my side, I've got it where I've got the pillows propped up to make the difference up from my shoulder to my head. Um, but other than that, um, things seem to be going well. I can't say I wouldn't do it again, and I can't say I will do. I would do it. I would do it again. So I'm at that impasse of uh, I need at least another two, three weeks or longer before I can say yes or no that this was either a good thing or a bad thing. But I can't make a decision. <coughs> Seeing talking gives you dry throat too. Um, that it was a bad idea. I'm not going to whine in the first week of recovery, in the first two weeks of recovery, as my body acclimates to everything that was just done to it. That'd be horse, horse, uh, be horseradish and stupid to sit there and make a decision on something that you've only had done for a couple of days and your body's still trying to say, what the hell just happened? i got to recover from this. So, as it sits, I'm not saying I wouldn't do this again. And I'm not saying I would do this again. All right, it's 11:25 a.m. on 10/26/2010. I am 15 days past neck surgery, C3, C4 uh, fusion, and uh, uh, bone fusion and herniated disc removal. Um, went to the doctor today at 9:45. Um, I now have a nine-month process that I just got walked into. Between I have now rehab that I have to start on Monday, um, and I also have this new machine which is for uh, bone growth. It's supposed to help stimulate. It's something with magnetics apparently um, that I've been told that I need to use daily for a half hour a day. Um, the machine is basically it's a spinal logic. I don't know why what is so special about it. Um, it's a machine. It's got a pad for where my neck goes. It's magnetic through here. <clears throat> it's got a little box that you push the button once and it lights up to tell you you know to take the procedure you sit for 30 minutes uh, with the procedure um, apparently what I'm supposed to do is take it which I'm going to do my first procedure right now because um, I told the wife I'd rather do it when she's home is I'm supposed to take this unit I'm supposed to set it back here I'm supposed to sit back I can't have anything with speakers or anything around me um, I have to be somewhat comfortable because um, this is a half hour where I really can't move my neck away from this. And from what my understanding is, I'm supposed to push this little little button in the center, um, which this is a $5,000 unit, which I'm stuck with. Um, right now, there is zeros on it. I don't know if that's supposed to be anything special. Um, right now, all I'm getting is zeros. Watch, they gave me a defective unit that's already been used. Um, at this point, nothing's happening. It just said zeros and it went off. So, guess what? Um, I think that'll be in this video because I'm going to look at the manual and see why I'm only getting zeros and the thing shuts off. Alright, so uh, this is part five uh, post surgery. Okay, apparently, I guess I didn't listen too well. This is the fun part of having ADHD while going through this. I'm supposed to press and hold it until it beeps. So, here we go. And that should be, it's got a little processing light going on. Um, and it says 29 minutes, 58 seconds. I don't know if you can really see what's going on. There's a timer that says 30 minutes. I really don't feel anything going on. Other than I haven't taken any Vicodin or anything today. And of course, guess what? A doctor calls while I'm doing this. Um, Unless that's, no, that's my 11.30 alarm to take this. So for the next 29 minutes and 30 seconds, I will be sitting here like this. Um, and if my wife is nice enough to record afterwards, I'll tell you if I feel any different or anything like that. We're in the final seven seconds of this. I've been sitting here for about a half hour. Um, this thing's supposed to do this gnarly little beep 
we'll find out here in about. And there's a little happy face that shows up, so that makes me happy for the six grand I'm I'm doing. It's all gone now. There's nothing to show. Um, apparently, that's the end of the treatment. Um, again, it looks like this. Um, the pillow is a little uncomfortable. I might have to have the wife take it and beat the crap out of it a little bit, soften it up a little. It's a little, you know, new pillow, tense, and on the back of the spine, up in the neck, it hurts a little. Um, I don't feel any different, but who the hell knows? You know, I'm not a doctor. Um, the first one they were handing me this, I thought it was a steering wheel, like some kind of like stupid tat like thing uh, for like my a Wii or something. Um, overall, I don't know what this is supposed to do other than stimulate. It's a, from what it's I understand, it's a bone growth stimulator, and it's supposed to help the fusing of the bone. Uh, the bones together. Um, and I guess apparently when you only have a double you get this. If you have a single they usually don't prescribe it. So since I had a double that's why I have this. And of course my cat's yelling at me that I need to take it easy um, because I'm not supposed to do much. Um, officially I am down in, for a minimum of a nine month total now by the doctor's orders um, because he says uh, between the rehab I have to start doing on Monday and this, which I have to run for up to nine months total, um, it pretty much limits to me what I'm doing now is what I'm doing. Um, he didn't raise where I could do any more heavy lifting. I'm still on up to 10 pounds. Um, he says the pain in the neck that I get between the sharp and the throbbing is normal. Um, I don't think it's normal, but that's just me. Um, other than that, I just keep on the Vicodin at this point uh, and go from there. Okie dokie, we're in the last 40, 39 seconds of another bone stimulator treatment. And uh, other than having to sit in this lovely position the whole time, um, the only thing I do feel is like a dryness in my throat. Like I want to swallow more during the treatment um, and I need more fluids. Um, I also took uh, uh, one and a half Vicodin when I did this um, because I was hurting from the neck exercises and rehab this morning. So here is the bone stimulator in the last few seconds. I don't know if you can see that. I guess I kind of got it at an angle. But as of, should be a little smiley face, which means I am done. And at this point, I have completed seven treatments. So I've had this officially for a week. So. Again, another smiley face saying I'm doing things right. Still has a good battery. Um, and that is basically it for uh, the bone stimulator by some company out of Europe. So, anyways, just trying to keep video updates as much as possible. Alright, here it is. Sunday, 11-7-2010. Uh, around, I don't know, 12.30 or something. Um, I've decided today to go for a walk. As you can tell, I'm outside. I'm going to go without my neck brace. Um, I used to walk a couple of days a week. Um, more from just because I, being down for two years, I just, without working in regular, without working a regular like nine to five, you know, or anything where it would occupy, uh, my time, you know, sitting on my butt for 12 hours a day or the entire day, um, you know, I just I can't I can't do it. And for the last month, where I've been sitting down, uh, you know, recovering, it's it's been tough. And uh, you know, what pe most people don't understand is is if you're physically active to any extent, being told that you need to sit sit and recover. Um, you know, it really kills you. Um, you know, me, you know, I used to walk to the post office and back because we had a P.O. box. Uh, I used to do that at least a couple times a week. Um, we canceled my P.O. box because honestly there was nothing more going there. Uh, but at this point, um, post-surgery, I'm pushing the 30-day uh, the mark and, uh, you know, more than not, I... Uh, I just want to uh, get back to some kind of a routine. If I'm not going to go to rehab, I need to go for walks or, or something. Um, 
I apologize for all the noise. I live on kind of a semi-busy street. Um, I plan on going for at least a couple of block walk and uh, maybe one, possibly two, uh, just after I see how things go. Um, you know, uh, for those who are interested in post rehab, this is uh, one of the things that you do. I'm going to figure out whether or not I need to keep wearing my, knee, my uh, neck brace uh, and keep figuring out uh, whether or not, you know, certain exercises and stretches are nece uh, necessary. Um, pre surgery, I couldn't go for more than a half hour, hour walk without. Uh, without uh, being in pain by the end of it. Uh, I'm gonna just go for a quick, maybe 15, 20 minute walk total uh, around maybe one to two city blocks uh, where I live and uh, see how I feel. Okay, I know one question just popped into my head as I get asked about uh, post-recovery and pain. Um, honestly, I'd probably say pre-surgery, I was pushing eight, nine, maybe a 10 at times. Uh, depending on my level of physical activity. Uh, I used to work 60 hours a week, you know, um, when I got down after the last two years uh, because of my neck. I'd uh, every other day try to go for a walk, at least a half hour, hour round trip, um, kind of as my PT for uh, just my heart in general um, and the rest of my body. Um, this last two months, I've kind of not been uh, as active uh, between prepping for the surgery, the surgery, post-surgery, and all that fun stuff. Um, really pain level, I'd probably say it's a one, two, maybe a three. Um, like I said, if I could take ibuprofen, I'd be taking about 600 milligrams. You know, just, just anti-inflammatory. Unfortunately, anti-inflammatories are not recommended along with aspirin uh, and all them because it uh, slows the fusing of bone. This is a fact. This is not a, you know, this is medical opinion. Um, you know, at this point, you know, I've looked at stuff for the last three, four years. And uh, of what I've seen, you know, I'm just kind of smiling through it. And, uh, you know, but uh, today I'm not even wearing my neck brace, as you can see. Uh, I figured I'd try it without. I'm kind of getting annoyed wearing it. Um, because I think it's uh, restricting a little bit at the 30-day uh, mark, pushing it. Um, we're about five days from the 30-day uh, post-surgery. So, um, pain management, you know, one Vicodin whenever you need it. Uh, I've gotten all three refills done, but, you know, personally, I still have more than one and a half out of my 150 uh, quantity. So, you know, I take it maybe at night just to help uh, loosen up, you know, help sleep a little bit. But other than that, you know, uh, um, as for riding in cars, biggest thing is keep it short distances. Um, biggest thing I notice is your lower body's trying to contour with the, the changing of the road, um, the movements of the vehicle, you know. I got a grab bar that I find myself when we go around corners grabbing onto. Um, you know, just take it easy. Don't do not do long, you know, uh, trips where you're sitting in the car for long periods of time if you don't have to. Um, we try to keep it to no more than 15 minutes, you know, per, unless I have to, you know, where I get up and walk uh, between. Um, but like I said in one video, I think I did, uh, I did a whole day where we were in the car for over three hours and, uh, you know, by the end of it I was pretty dead on my feet and felt sick to my stomach. So, uh, Post surgery, I think it's video 18, because I finally got 17 to load up this morning. Um, I figured I'd start recording again, uh, out and about. And uh, like I said, as for riding a car, just take it easy. Don't overdo it. And honestly, I wouldn't drive. Uh, my neurosurgeon yesterday told me when I talked to them that that 270 treatments I have on the bone growth stimulator, they want me to run the full machine to the end. It's, it's not that it needs to necessarily be that way. But in my best interest for a full healing of the neck, they say to, uh, if you've got the full 270, to run the full 270 um, to ensure that your neck is fused properly. Um, so that's one treatment I will be doing. I think I'm into the 20 day mark on that. Um, and for those of you that are following, and I stated that it's a $5,250 piece of machinery, 
I'm dead on on that one because they just billed my insurance that exact amount. So uh, it is billable to insurance. Um, I think my tally right now is pushing between sixty and seventy thousand dollars between hospital, doctor, uh, rehab, equipment.